And next we have 8-Bit Bastards Level 1, written by Joshua Mason, who you might remember from the uh, novel uh, Steam Whistle Alley. Uh, this is 224 pages, $2.99. It is available on Kindle Limited. Here's the author's description. When you've maxed out your level, done every quest, and defeated every enemy, there's not much left. So after seven centuries of immortality, Sean wants nothing more than to die. After all, uh, after all, rather, was touted as a paradise, an afterlife where anyone could pursue their interests from archery to zookeeping. The gaming was the stuff of legend, and but for Sean, it had grown stale. But when a woman from a past life informs of a real flesh and blood descendant that has hacked his way in, Sean finds a new purpose. The AI doesn't take kind of interlopers, though, and parks the intruder in the one realm so buggy that even the oldest, most powerful denizens of, after all, steer clear of it. The Bit Realm. Uh, Sean must enter a land created for the original gamers, people like him who cut their teeth on some of the video games first released to the public. Will Sean brave the pixelated wilderness of Bit Realm to rescue his lost kin? Or will he fall victim to the force that has been making people vanish? One thing is for certain, he can't do it alone. He's going to need a few members of his original guild. He's going to need some 8-bit bastards. So there we go. Um, again... Yeah, I think I read the part. Okay, um, this is a good little story that starts with an interesting premise. What would you do if you had an, a mind, your mind uploaded to a game universe and were mortal? What about after 700 years? And you learn that a distant descendant hacked his way into the game and is now trapped in the most bugged place. Um, I think that's a really good setup. Uh, and the first, I want to say half of the story is really kind of dedicated to the speculative recollection of what it's been like for the main character to have lived so long and done just about everything in this world. And then it transitions to him collecting, convincing his old teammates to help him. And it's not really till about the 40% mark in the story that you get in the RPG progression as the group enters this Minecraft 8-bit kind of world um, and get their levels reset. And then you get humorous action adventure stuff. Um, and you also get the RPG progression because they have to start at level one and choose their class. The thing I believe was level five. Um, the story is funny on several levels. I think the metagame aspect is nice. Uh, the good get banter between group members was enjoyable. And there's a good slice of life adventure here. Um, the big draw, though, is going to be the interesting world building. Um, I like the speculative beginning of it, even though it's not really what it be more gamelet. Um, there's the nice ape and nostalgia that's being pulled here. And the setup for what would what it would be like to be a digitalized immortal. Um, who can never really escape his mistakes. Um, I, it's actually a pretty quick read, even though it's 224 pages. It went by really fast. Like it went by, I read it in a couple hours. Um, I, and that kind of says, oh, the, the pacing is really good. It draws you in a story and makes you forget um, how fast you're reading it. So that's always a good point. Uh, it, it was a quick read for me. I had a good time with it overall. Gets a score of 7.4 to 10. Um, so there we go. That's 8-Bit Master's Level 1 with a score of 7.4 out of 10. Go check it out.